Okay, so let's see if you have the math skills to solve this problem, which is the following. An engine is running at 5,000 RPMs. If the RPMs are slowed 40%, how many revolutions will the engine make in 30 seconds? All right, now just in case you don't know, RPM stands for revolutions per minute. So 5,000 RPMs means the engine turns 5,000 times in one minute. Okay, now feel free to use a calculator, but if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, so let's take another look at the question before I show you the answer. An engine is running at 5,000 RPMs. If the RPMs are slowed 40%, how many revolutions will the engine make in 30 seconds? All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct answer is 1,500 revolutions. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm a bit confused on how to solve this problem. Well, this is not that difficult, and I'm going to show you step by step. Okay, now, the first thing you always do when you're trying to solve a math word problem is to read it at least three times. Now, of course, I've already read this problem more than a few times, but uh, in general, if you are reading a problem for the first time, reading it once is not enough. So try to read it at least three times. Make sure you understand all the information and, of course, the actual question. All right, so we have this engine. It's running at 5,000 RPMs. Now, if we slow the engine down by 40%, obviously our RPMs are going to decrease. So the question here is how many revolutions will the engine make in 30 seconds after we slow this down or slow the engine down by 40%. Okay, now a great strategy is to try to visualize this information or maybe try to model it in some way. Okay, now there's a lot of different ways you can do this, but this is the way I kind of think about the problem. So in a lot of cars and trucks, there's an instrument called a tachometer. Now this is not important, but uh, it's basically a little indicator that tells you how many RPMs the engine is going. So right now our tachometer is reading 5,000 RPMs. If we slow the engine down by 40%, how many RPMs uh, is our uh, tachometer going to read? So this is the first uh, kind of uh, part or the first phase in figuring out the answer to this question. How many RPMs is the engine running when we slow this uh, engine down by 40%? Okay, now there's a couple different ways we can answer this question. So the long way is to figure out what 40% of 5,000 is and then subtract that from 5,000. But a much easier way is to simply figure out what 60% of 5,000 is. That's equivalent to a decreasing 5,000 by 40%. All right, so that means we simply need to figure out what 60% of 5,000 is equal to. All right, so once again, uh, feel free to use a calculator, but here we are talking about finding the percent of a number. All right, so how do we do that? Well, when you find a percent of a number, what we need to do is change the percent to a decimal or fraction. And uh, the way we do that is by dividing by 100 or moving the decimal point over two places to the left. Okay, so now that we have 60% expressed as a decimal, what we need to do is multiply it by 5,000. So 0 0.6 times 5,000, of course, is 3,000. All right, so our engine now is running at 3,000 RPMs once we uh, decrease the RPMs by 40%. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, my goal on YouTube is to try to help as many people as possible in math. And when you hit that subscribe button, it really does help me out on YouTube to reach that goal. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every one of my courses, you're going to get a full comprehensive lesson on every topic. I also cover thousands of problems with full video solutions. Also, I have a ton of worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for tests, and even printable, downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great and easy way to learn math, well, then check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. Okay, so, so far we figured out that if an engine going at 5,000 RPMs, if we slow it down by 40%, it's going to be going 3,000 RPMs. 
Now, this is not the answer to the question because the question is asking what? Well, it's asking how many revolutions will the engine make in 30 seconds after we slow it down by 40%. Okay, so this is not that difficult to figure out because if an engine is going 3,000 RPMs, that's revolutions per every minute or 3,000 revolutions per every 60 seconds. Okay, so how many revolutions will the engine make in 30 seconds? Well, all we have to do is divide each number by two because 60 seconds divided by two is 30 seconds. So 3,000 divided by two is 1,500. Okay, so the engine is going to be going 1,500 revolutions in 30 seconds. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this problem. And uh, if you need additional help with basic math and things like percent, well, I have a few recommendations for you. Check out these courses. You can find links to these in the description of this video. So my first course that I'm gonna recommend is my Math Foundations course. That's a quick review of basic math. If you wanna learn basic math, algebra, and geometry, check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. And then of course, if some of you out there are taking pre-algebra, I teach percent and some of these other concepts as well in this course. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.